Japan's railway firms plan to move up the time of their last train of the day as the number of passengers have dropped due to the coronavirus. But that's not the only reason. East Japan Railway said it will shorten train operations from next March to secure more time for overnight maintenance work. People using JR East's Yamanote Loop Line dropped by around 40 percent from pre-corona days. The rate rose to nearly 70 percent after midnight. JR East decided to start train services later in the morning and end earlier at night. Current operations give workers three hours and 20 minutes for nighttime maintenance. The shortened train operations will add 40 to 70 minutes to that. It's 1.30 a.m. when workers began the task of checking the overhead wiring this day. But there are several things they must do first. They closed off the tracks and stopped the electric current running in the tracks and cables. They finally began the actual inspection shortly after 2 a.m. They have only about two hours before the morning's first train starts moving. The distance they can cover within this time is limited to around three to four kilometers. Railway companies have been trying to find more effective ways to conduct safety maintenance work. In Yokohama, workers installed a new integrated system for sending electricity to trains. The simplified system requires less parts and reduces the time needed for inspections. There are also efforts to utilize artificial intelligence to replace human labor. East Eye is one of JR East's inspection trains. The camera on the roof films equipment along train tracks. The engineering company that partners with JR uses AI to find problems like cracked parts and loose faults from the footage. The firm is preparing to put this cutting-edge technology to full use by March 2022. The number of maintenance workers has dropped by around 20 percent over the past 10 years. Despite the many difficulties, railway operators are taking various measures to make sure they can keep up efforts to provide a safe journey for passengers. Sarah Souk, Nippon TV.